So a while ago, or quite some time ago, I made a tutorial on a simple Pong game, uh, which is only 3 minutes long because it was really simple, just a ball moving, and yep, if it you know, we, we need to reflect it using our paddle, and if it touches the lava, then we the game's over. And today, um, we're gonna make an advanced version of this, and by advanced, I don't mean something super duper hard, but just something that is, um, yeah, a bit more harder to make. It's just the addition to the game. So there's bricks, and there's this cool brick generation thing, and we need to break the bricks using our hall. Now this might look really really bad in terms of graphics and this is because it was made a pretty long time ago uh, when Scratch didn't have like very good drawing tools as it has now. So yeah, let's uh, make this. So let's get rid of the Scratch Cat, we don't really need that here. And first let's get all our sprites in. So that would be our paddle, ball and bricks. So, our paddle, we can get one which is already made by scratch. And for the ball, I'm gonna be using the same one we did in the earlier video. And let's make this smaller, otherwise it'll be too easy to hit the bricks. Oh no, that's too small. Yeah, that should be about fine. Kinda looks like a square right now, cause scratch kinda clips stuff. And if you don't, if you want to avoid this, then we can just um, build an invisible rectangle around it. So yeah, it does increase the hitbox, but it's gonna not clip as much anymore. So yeah, I guess that kind of fixes the problem. Let's add bricks. I'm just gonna add this weird button kind of thing. I know it doesn't look like a brick at all, but uh, yeah, I guess it will work for now. You can, of course, get a brick or even put anything. It doesn't have to be a brick. Oops, that's way too small. Let's make that white. Yeah, that seems fine. And let's, this time, let's use the classic, um, the classic backdrop that everybody uses for their Pong game. I don't know why. I think it's because even Scratch, in the Scratch tutorial, they use this. Or something I don't remember and let's put our lava in this oops yeah let's put our lava in the uh, the backdrop to make a red rectangle below yeah looks about fine and oh uh, yeah as you can see there's like a space to start thingy so let's just make another one which says space to start let's make it yellow same as how we did uh, over here space to start let's make this nice and big okay cool uh i don't think we're missing anything right now we're, we can make the game over screen and stuff later and we'll start with the code so the easiest one is obviously the paddles code because it's only like a uh, four blocks or something so when clicked forever it just goes to the position set x to mouse x and that's it where's mouse x yeah right here so yeah it follows your mouse pointer and it's pretty simple now let's go to the balls code uh, so this is the balls code kind of starts the whole program so when clicked let's make the variables um so lives and speed as you can see here in the speed uh, I've made this a slider but we're not gonna be changing the speed here so we can just keep it in case you feel like changing the speed later just keep it as a constant variable it's uh, 10 And let's do go to uh, the center and point in direction 180 so that it goes straight down when uh, 
the game starts and it doesn't uh, hit bricks for you if you wanted to like point somewhere else you can set this as a different value and let's show and then when space is pressed let's do forever move speed steps so yeah that should be okay and let's do if on edge bounce and yeah i think that's about it let's put if yeah if the direction's 90 it kind of gets weird so let's fix that problem by doing uh this if direction is 90 then it just goes to another it points in another direction because if it's a 90 then it's gonna keep going in the same kind of thing let's do turn turn uh pick random let's do a random value maybe between let's see minus 30 and 30 and let's do yeah also when uh just duplicate this and let's do if it's touching the lava so if it's touching the lava let's do oh let's change our lives by minus one and let's do if lives equals to zero so it ends the game you know oh uh, lives equals to zero then it's gonna hide the ball because we don't need it anymore and uh, so that the game doesn't continue and uh, let's just make a yeah let's just make a let's make a um broadcast message as you lose and yeah after this happens let's just stop the whole game so just stop all so yeah we've got we've got the end already covered and also we need to do this stuff again just duplicate this in here uh make sure you got in the right spot and yeah there's also one more thing you'd want to do as it's just a uh, addition to the simple stuff over here so let's do if touching paddle so it's kind of a, a how it's gonna bounce when it's gonna touch the paddle if it's touching the paddle then it's gonna point in direction 180 Let's do 180 minus let's do direction no, 180 minus direction it's the 180 minus the direction and then that added to uh let's do a random value between maybe let's say 10 and minus 10 and 10 yep and that should be fine point in direction this and let's move 10 steps forward and yeah if you want you can add a sound effect I won't need that so yeah let's just continue I think this is about it for the code of the ball we'll add stuff later if we need to and next it will be the code of the brick and let's just when the game starts yeah let's just make the the backdrops actually in the charge of uh, making everything run in the start so yeah let's get the backdrops code before we do the bricks code so let's do set brick count so you need to have a count of bricks for the cool uh, start screen thingy where it generates the bricks um let's set brick count to 24 bricks so it's going to be six 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 or something i think that's how i did it here 
and let's do the exposition of these stuff oh uh, yeah we don't need to show brick count as a variable either let's make it uh, generate here I think I'm gonna put a uh, let's make a variable X and Y X and Y and let's do L and H let's make this capital and H we don't need to show any of this and let's set the X at the start to let's say minus 85 set y to but over here so 120 uh let's sell set l to 50 and let's set h to 26 25 i don't know why i said 26 yeah 25 let's just set score to zero So we actually added a score here so every time it hit yeah the score is basically if you knock all the all the bricks out you actually don't need to show the score i know it sounds kind of weird why wouldn't you want to show the score but it's because um the score is basically the count keeping the count of how many bricks have already been destroyed so yeah, you can either show the score or not. I'm not going to show it. And let's just set score to zero. Yeah, and that should be it for the setting the variables. And let's broadcast the message that sets all the bricks. Let's create a message. Let's name it maybe set bricks. And let's switch backdrop to the one that says uh, this space to start. So backdrop equals yeah neon tunnel too. That's what it's called for me. And next, I guess we can start. Yeah, we can. Yeah, let's make it change back to the normal thing when the space bar is pressed. It go goes from this to this. So when space key is pressed, let's do switch back to neon tunnel, which is my normal one. And yeah. Uh, usually you uh, know if the game has ended or not, you usually do like if bricks are zero and blah, blah, blah. But uh, you can just do wait until. You can, I don't really use this block much, but I kind of found a use for it in this game, which kind of makes the code even more simple. And we can do e this. Let's do brick count equals to zero. So wait until brick count equals to zero and switch backdrop to um, the wind screen, which I haven't made yet. Let's make it quickly. Uh, you win. I would change the color, but uh, you can by yourself. I'm too lazy to right now in this tutorial. And let's just stop all. Yep. Let's just stop all. And let's make the losing thingy. Uh, before we forget to. Let's do... Oh yeah, we already made the you lose kind of thing. Uh, let's just uh, make another one. It says you lose. And yep. Let's do. Yeah. You lose is Neon Tunnel 4. So yeah. Oh, uh, you can add high score and stuff. I have a high score tutorial which I'll put in the top right. So click that if you want to know how to make a high score and let's just continue with uh, the code of the brick so sorry for making this a bit long uh, but yeah 
the end that the ending will turn out nice so stay tuned until the end of the video so set bricks um so of course when you make clones you don't need the actual um sprite so you can just hide it and we can set so we're we're working the why and stuff you might be asking why we made it that's because we want to know where we're placing the bricks so it keeps changing the position and just goes there and places the brick goes there places the brick and it just does that again and again on and the brick counts 24 is going to place 24 bricks well so let's start let's set the y first as uh let's do 120 and let's repeat three times uh set x to let's do same as we did there minus 85 let's repeat eight times so eat eight for each row oh yeah we did uh eight 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 so three rows of bricks uh eight and let's do create the clone of myself and let's wait for 0 0.2 seconds and change x to l so let's change x to l and let's change y to minus 1 multiplied by h so let's do minus 1 multiplied by h and now let's uh, make the code for when the clone is made so when the clone is made um where is that yeah when i start as a clone go to x and y which is our variables and let's show ourselves and wait until um it touches the the paddle so we wait until it touches the paddle and we hide not the paddle but the thing so wait until It touches the the thing itself so it's there, there's gonna be an invisible thingy like going there and then making the thing the sprite I out it'll work out later uh, you might not know what I'm talking about now it's gonna work out later so I think um, yeah Oh yeah, I meant the I meant the ball. So we wait until it touch the ball, and then we hide, and then we broadcast. Let's do yeah, it touched touches the ball, the touch ball, and yep. Let's just change the score to one and change brick count by minus one and uh we of course play a sound otherwise it'd be weird let's just use the pop sound it's not too bad for this game uh you can add your own sound of course and yep i think that is it let's test out the game that we've made till now kind of uh, builds up over here we don't really want that yeah right now it goes yeah it's working it's working fine I guess I think something's wrong with uh, one of the codes I forgot to put that um, 
when I receive ball touch. Yeah, I forgot to utilize the touch ball thing. Uh, we just turn by uh, one, 155 degrees. Uh, I put the uh, X and Y as a weird coordinate because I didn't put these in the right spot. Just put them like over here. Kind of messed up right now. Uh, so yeah, to uh, work, to make it work properly, just put your paddle over here. Might seem really weird. Just, uh, just a rough estimate like over here and run the program and it should be more accurate you can adjust the position by changing this to and yeah seems fine now let's make it go a bit more over here you can select it and use nav and uh arrow keys to navigate around uh navigate your uh sprite around and yeah let's test out the game i think it works Let's try to win. Three hours later. And yep, the game stops and uh, the. Oh yeah, we forgot to make the you win screen pop up. But yeah, uh, change it to ne uh, Neon Tunnel 3. And let's try to make it lose now. I think it's gonna work. We don't need to wait for the generation, just gotta see if it, yep, it says you lose. So yeah, I guess that would be it for today's video. I'm sorry for like the bug where I messed up on the coordinates. If you use the same coordinates as me, then just put the paddle over here. And yep, uh, I'll see you next time on my next Roblox or Scratch video.